All right. Okay, we got a hair splitting video for you today. Today we are looking at three round brilliant cuts. Um, and all right around the two and a half carat size range. This first one is in the 240s, the mid 240s, and they're all HSI ones, by the way. Um, this first one here, uh, a little on the messy side for the interior for SI1, uh, and I'm there's just more like darker reflections in this one also. Uh, for my taste then say the second one the second one is a little over two and a half carats uh, two, uh, a little over two and a half carats HSI one and the optics on this one are smashing baby yeah <laughs> so between these first two I'm really liking this one alright in fact even when I pull this third one into the video and we're just comparing these two uh, this was a, um, a GIA triple X we had called in another one a little over two and a half carats So both of these are pretty comparable in weight um, But this one here was leaking a lot more light under the table and you can see the darker areas under the table here in this diamond All right, which is why I would also disqualify that one as I'm observing the three of these diamonds here in diffused lighting so the center one is the one that absolutely uh, does it for me okay if I was if I had to choose and all of these three diamonds are falling in the same price category uh, there's there's no question about it in this kid's mind <clears throat> it would be the center one okay and that's why right there visual reasons other reasons for clarity and whatnot but let's bring them in uh, spotlighting we'll look at fire and sparkle okay in the arena of fire and sparkle Okay, you know, something that I'm able to observe, okay, don't get me wrong here. I, I do see, though, weaker fire happening in the last one. And I don't know if the video is picking, picking it up or not. This last one here, that it, not only did it have too much light leakage, its primary inclusions were saturated clouds. So I'm getting a little bit of a slight haze in that one. I don't know if the video is picking that up or not. So... You know, but it's 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 good fire for a GIA triple X. All right, it, it it did after all make the GI triple X range, but for brightness and contrast, um, it kind of suffers a little bit as we saw because of the light leakage. Now, in these other two diamonds, these guys are kicking back light the way they should. I do, however, see more pinpoint scintillation and stronger fire in the diamond on the right okay so not that the diamond on the left is bad but the diamond on the right is better <laughs> all right and considering what we've seen so far with regards to diffuse lighting and spot lighting uh, that is going to be the recommendation in this clip okay and for obvious reasons to this g-man Okay, and that wraps this clip up. Thank you for watching. Oh yeah.